and wave your arms across the front. Now reach across. And reach up. March in place again. Pumping the arms. Back to step touch. And let's disco roll those hands. Make it fun. Circle the elbows, warming up the shoulders and upper back. Now open the arms in big circles. Reach across the front. Let's do some easy squats. Body weight only. Make a fist and pump those biceps. Now feet apart wide, lean side to side. Stretching the inner thighs. Now squat and reach and down. Squat and reach and down. Squat and reach and down. Reach down for the toes, right and left. And back to the march. Step touch with disco hands. Now down into a squat, let's twist side to side, warming up the core. Arms straight out in front, lower down, come back up, lower down, come back up. Now let's lean side to side, more core warm up. Turn to the side and drop the back knee into a lunge. Standing up tall, chest out, hands on your hips. Now stay down and hold. Feel a nice stretch on that quadricep. Now shift your weight back, lift your toe and stretch the calf. Back to the front, let's lunge side to side and sweep the arms to the front. Now windmill the arms up and down. Back to squat, reach and down, squat, reach and down. Turn to the other side for lunges, dropping the back knee. Keep your weight centered on both feet. Abdominals tucked in. Down to the knee and hold. Now lift the toe and stretch the calf. Let's come back to center and lunge side to side, sweeping across the front. And windmill the arms, up and down, right and left. Now let's get those knees up high, punching the fist down beside the leg. Don't you be a meanie, thought you wanted me to go up. 
turn to the side and lift those knees and reach overhead, pulling down with your arms. Other side. Now let's really get that heart going with a little jump rope. Okay, that's it for our warm up. We're going to grab the weights now. I am using five pound dumbbells. Anything from one to 10 pounds is fine, whatever your strength level is. If you don't have weight, you can use two bottles of water or two cans of food, a bag of rice or beans. Anything that has a couple pounds to it is fine. We're gonna start off with shoulders. Feet together, weights right on top of your shoulders, and we're going to press up. Now bring the arms down, and we're going to slowly raise the arms out for a lateral raise, working the outside shoulder. Nice and easy, slow movements controlling the weight up and down. Belly tucked in, shoulders down. Now raise to the front, nice and slow. Just the shoulder level. Bring the weights back to the shoulders on top and press up again, this time to tempo. Now onto our leg work, placing the weights on your shoulders. I'm turning to the side just to show you the right position. You can stay facing forward, but I'm keeping my feet hip distance apart and squatting back as if I'm sitting in a chair. Now let's take the feet apart for a wide-legged squat. Keeping the toes face forward. Bring your feet together and we'll do narrow squats. Feet apart, back to a wide squat. Now we're going to combine those two exercises, squat and press overhead, working lower body and upper body. I'm gonna get a bench not necessary, but if you have a little stool, you can set your foot on. I'm gonna use this to get better leverage to do my tricep workout. Lifting one weight with my right arm, swing it up high, working the tricep, the back of the arm. Notice the only part of my arm that's moving is the forearm. The rest of my body is completely still. 
switching sides. Now moving on to more leg workout. These are deadlifts. I'm trying to keep my legs mostly straight, hinging at the hips and dropping the weights down to about my shins, just to where you feel the tightening of the hamstrings. Keep the back flat. Keep the head, neck and shoulders and back in one straight line not rounding the back. It's okay to have a little bend in the knees. Back to triceps, arms up, shoulder level, bringing the weight in and out, keeping the elbows up high. Let's go back to the leg work. A few more deadlifts. Nice and slow, down to and up to. Now let's combine triceps and leg work. Lift your arms overhead and drop the weights behind while you lift the leg to the back. Switch legs. Remember, flat back and not rounded. Head stays in line with the back. Remember to get a drink of water any time during class. It's good to stay hydrated. We're going to work biceps. Nice and slow. Holding my arms out to the side. Keeping my elbows away from the body when I curl up. Contracting my abdominals in. Now I'm standing on a bench. This is just going to challenge my balance a little bit more. Let's increase and go to tempo. One and two and three and four. Now to add some of abdominal and balance work, I'm going to add in a knee lift as I curl. Going back to the lower body, I'm going to step my right leg back into a lunge and drop down one, two, three, and knee up. One, two, three, power through. Back, two, three, and up.
and let's switch to the other side. All right, back to biceps. These are hammer curls. Keeping my arms right at my sides, elbows tucked in. Raise the dumbbells up to your shoulders and lower. Now quicker to tempo. Let's add some leg lifts to the back. Hold your weights out in front. Keeping those biceps activated, lift your leg to the back. Working the hamstrings and glutes. Let's switch sides. Back to biceps, I'm going to extend my arms out and in, out and in. This works a little bit of shoulder and biceps. Big inhale, big exhale. Okay class, let's grab our weights again and we're gonna move on to our back exercises. Doing some upright, some rows, leaning forward at the hips. Pull the weights into your rib cage. Nice flat back, head and line with the back. Knees slightly bent. Bring those elbows up high. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now quicker. Up and down, up and down. Raise up. Let's put the weights on our shoulders again. Squat and kick, squat and kick, squat and kick. Now let's continue with bicep curls. Lift the knee up, extend the foot out. Bring the foot back in and lower, alternating right and left. This is really challenging your balance. Working those quadriceps. One more. Now for some more back work. Feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Hinging forward at the hips. We're gonna raise the dumbbells up out to shoulder level. These are back flies. 
keep the arms relatively straight. Good alignment with your head, looking down. All right, raise up. Let's give our back a little rest, a little back bend. Now to combine upper back and shoulders with leg work. Lunge out to the side, bend the knee as you lift and press out. Feet back together, other side, press out, back together. Lunge, press together, lunge, press together. Let's do two more. Let's do a little work for our calf muscles. I'm going to stand on a bench so I can get a little more extension. Not necessary, but we're gonna do quick ones today. Lifting the heels off the ground. Hands on your hips. Now, bring your heels together and toes out wide. We'll work a different part of the calf muscle. If you didn't know, your calf muscles are in three sections. So it's important to use different feet positions to reach all three. Now bring your toes together, heels apart, and we'll continue. Up, down, up, down. Hold your belly in. Are you starting to feel the burn? Yes. Okay, let's take a break. Let's come to the mat, take a seat, and we'll start out with some simple crunches. Feet flat on the floor, hands behind your head, fingertips slightly on the back of your head, and crunch. Now let's extend one leg out as you cross the elbow. Working your obliques. And switch sides. Now bring your knees up tabletop and more crunches. Exhale as you lift up. Now bring the knees in and hold. Let's grab behind the legs and roll up. Come into a plank position. We're gonna bring the knees into the chest. New Cuban, new Cuban. Now let's come to a forearm plank. Body in one straight line. 
hips low, drop the knees to the floor and straighten the legs. Drop and straighten, drop and straighten. Back to a plank or push up position. All right, let's bring the knees in. And settle back into a child's pose for a little rest. Back to a plank or push up position. A different way to do the Cupid Shuffle. Let's come back to forearm plank. Dropping the knees, straighten, knees and straighten. And settle back into a child's pose for a little rest. Back to a plank or push up position. Sing along with me. Alright, let's finish strong. I'm in a plank now and I'm going to shift my weight forward and back, forward and back. If this is too hard, you can come down to your knees. And settle back into a child's pose. Back to forearm plank. Let's finish. Drop the knees, straighten the legs, drop the knees. And we're done with that. Woo. Are we ready for a cool down? Yes. Yeah. 